All right, hi everyone, and welcome to another Wolf Boy video. I'm actually recording on my uh, microphone because uh, I feel that this is a video that needs to needs to come to light because a lot of people uh, with the whole No Man's Sky incident of oh, there's so much going wrong with it and that it advertised uh, falsely. So, I came across the game yesterday, and uh, yesterday was October 16th, uh, 2016. So, Project Genome, or Geome, or however you say it, um, I'll leave a Steam link in the video description so that you can go and look at it. Um, but it released officially on the Steam Marketplace for purchase as Early Access. Now, this Early Access title um, was essentially um, advertised as a full, complete game, that it was ready, and I participated in the Early Access of uh, Ghost in the Shell First Strike Online. Um, or, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex First, First Assault Online. That's the full title. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well if I remember correctly. Because that game was pretty cool and it worked well. Um, the only problem with it, however, was that it had a lot of server end bugs, which, according to the people who I was chatting with, it still has server end problems. But my main problem is that the graphics look nothing like the trailer. Yes, I know, it's an early access title. But early access doesn't mean that it's going to be shit in comparison to the trailer video. The trailer video stated in it that it was actual in-game footage. In fact, I'll put it up here. Now, in contrast, I recorded this last night using NVIDIA Shadowplay, and this is what the actual in-game footage is. How can you even compare them? Now, for reference, I have a 10-core Xeon in my system running at 2.1 gigahertz. And it has um, hyper-threading enabled, so it's actually a 20-thread Xeon. So I should have no problem processing this. And my graphics card is a GTX 1070. Now, I have all of the graphics settings maxed out. I had everything set to very, very extreme, I believe that they call it. Um, but I couldn't get any better graphics performance. And this is on Unreal 4, which we've seen what can be done with it. People have ported over Minecraft, Dishonored, everything into Unreal 4, and it looks beautiful. But all of a sudden, a game that was built and designed around Unreal 4 is released, and it looks nothing like the release videos. So, to the developers, another problem that I have with this game is that the community they simply say oh well it works fine for me and it's called something responsive graphic design what you have a titan xp in your system you have a 6850k 6850x i don't know what the moniker is afterwards but you can't tell me that you have better system specs than I do and that you're getting better graphical performance. And when you talk to people, they time you out of chat. I was timed out of chat for about 30 minutes and I couldn't get help from people. It was really annoying and the gaming experience is god awful. You have to tap Q to switch to your weapon. You can't readjust any of your keybinds, and if you start readjusting keybinds, they reset once you restart. There's no advanced 
options for, say, the menu or the audio. And even worse, there's no tools yet. Like, you know how if you bought the game, if you've already looked at the Steam page, and if you haven't yet, I definitely encourage you to. If you buy the game, it requests that you purchase the Founders Packs or the Alliance Packs or whatever they're called. I myself bought the Bronze and Silver Packs, respectively, and I can't get those yet. So I essentially spent $40 on an early access title that I did the exact same with you know, First Assault Online, and I actually got the items from First Assault Online immediately. So come on, game developers. It's your job to figure out this game before you release it to us. Don't present it as an early access game like this game and this game. These games are early access, and if you don't know which ones I'm pointing to, this one is Ark Survival, and then this one is Dead by Daylight. These are both early access titles that have been confirmed in the workshop of Steam. The green light, as Steam calls it. These games work. Their trailers are not 100% representative of the gameplay arc, but it still works. Come on, developers. Did we learn nothing from Hello Games and No Man's Sky? Seriously. No Man's Sky was a perfect example of why you don't lie to gamers. Why you tell us what is going to be in the fucking game and what is not going to be in the fucking game. So, I want to propose to, to gamers to stand the fuck up. Stand up to the companies who are building these games. It's their job to figure out how the game works, not us. I shouldn't have to know what advanced dynamic design of graphics is. I don't I don't need to know that. It's not my job. My job is to pay the developer for a working game. Nowhere in the propaganda does it say that it's an early alpha. Nowhere in the propaganda does it say that you don't get the items that you pay for immediately. Come on. Now, I know that it's, you know, reviewers like Angry Joe who, you know, have to review these products in the end, who will actually matter. Like, my voice doesn't matter in this. But if gamers stand up and fucking stop bowing down to corporations like Microsoft, Nintendo... Well, Nintendo never has really released a bad game because they do everything in-house. But that's besides the point. The fact is that companies release shitty games and then they just blow off negative reviews as bad propaganda. Or they blow it off as the reviewer just wants attention, i.e. Phil Schiller. I, I don't know what to say anymore to get developers to get off their fucking asses and show us actual gameplay. Show us what the fucking game will actually do. Game Gamers don't care about, oh, it looks this good in our, you know, in our cutscenes. We don't care about that. We care about what you show us. We want to see the actual gameplay. And don't even get me fucking started on the voice. The voice acting in this game is terrible. I can do a better voice actor a million times than these people have for their main characters. Now, this will end up probably being a game that people support really early on, and then 
all all development is dropped on it just like firefall was firefall was a great game and then all of a sudden it dropped like a hot potato no one used it and why did no one use it because it was an early access game that was online and you could only play it online it had early server issues and then no one wanted to work on it. So come on, developers. Wake up and see that you are in the 21st century where gamers want to see actual gameplay. Don't title actual gameplay when it's not actual gameplay, when we don't even see that. Now, maybe I'm taking it a little too far and maybe judging a book by its cover by, you know, the basic first level tutorial. Maybe I need to stand back and go through the tutorial, but how can I go through the tutorial when the control scheme is horrible? The voices are horrible. The instructions of how to do things are just plain annoying and horrible. How can you play a game that was advertised one way and you don't get that. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm too picky when it comes to my games. I mean, look at Skyrim. It was advertised as Skyrim, and we got Skyrim. Sure, the graphics engine sucks, but what do you expect when you're using, you know, an engine from 2011? You can't expect performance, or the perfection, I guess I should say. But come on, at least developers like Bethesda and Microsoft show us actual gameplay. Even Halo 5 had actual gameplay put into it. In all of the demos and trailers, you had actual gameplay, people playing the game and recording it. So come on, developers, come on, gamers. Stand up for what you want. Don't just settle for what people want to give you nowadays. Stand up and prove that you are a true gamer by demanding, not asking anymore, demanding that developers show you the truth. So, I guess if you like this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If you loved it, hit that subscribe button and stay subscribed for more content like this one. I do streams pretty regularly, so maybe you'll even see me playing Project Genome. But all hopes aside, let's hope that the game gets better and that it really is just an early alpha game. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Yeah.